Hi everyone, so halfway through this video, when I take the stencil off at the end, I accidentally pressed stop and then when I pressed record again, I didn't realise that my crazy camera had turned around. So the last wee five minutes of the video or a couple of minutes of the video, the camera has turned. So I apologise for that, but I hope you enjoy this wee, I call it painting, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, so I'm coming on to do a canvas today because <clears throat> I said I would do one. I want to try out these metallic um, acrylic paints by Arteza that I got sent. So I've got this wee canvas. Now I had originally painted something else on it but I didn't like it. So um, not with these paints but just another one that I had done. And so I've gessoed over it. So what I thought what I really wanted to do was do a sort of really colourful background and then use a stencil to go over the top so I'm going to try and attempt that so these are Tesla paints I will link these in the description box guys if you're interested I also have a 10% code off that Arteza gave me for my subscribers so let's get out some colours um, I'd like some quite bright colours so I like this one and this one is called the Peril Rose. So, what I thought... Actually, I've got this bath sponge. It's new and I just um, slightly dampened it and squeezed it out. So, these are just really cheap bath sponges. I'm going to cut that up a wee bit. See how that goes. I've never tried this before, so we'll see. So, yeah, Rose... Pearl Rose, this is called. So we'll pop a wee bit there, a wee bit there, a wee bit there. Then we'll go for this. It's called Pearl Papaya Orange. So this canvas is a wee bit bigger than um, what can get in frame, but I'll keep moving it a bit. I'll just put some of that there. And then this one is called Pearl Canary Yellow. So put a dot that there, 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 and there. And then I think quite a vibrant green. So put one. This one is Pearl Lime Green. So what I'll do first of all is I'll turn the canvas this way um, and I'll pop on some green. This is fun. <laughs> okay. So then instead of going in with the brush, I'm going to go in with a sponge and we'll just see how we go on with that. So we'll pat in all the green first. Oops, I've touched the pink. See how that goes, and then we'll go for the yellow. So, let's see, I've never done this kind of spongy technique to paints before, like this, anyway. Oh, there's another wee bit of green, and you guys probably will only be able to see it on camera, but they are really quite pearlescent, these are shining away. So we'll go with the yellow and we'll go in with the oh that pink's really bright, that's lovely. We'll pop a bit of it up there. Orange, that's bright as well, it's lovely. So I'm getting like a kind of stippled effect, so that's quite cool. Oh, I like that, that's quite nice. Just keep one. Just sort it merging them in. So I thought rather than using a paintbrush, it would be something a bit different. Hmm. 
There we go. That's pretty cool. Quite like that. Okay, so I'm going to dry it off a wee bit. Okay, so I dried it off with my heat tool. It only took a few minutes. Can you see how shiny these are? And I mean, that's over gesso. They're really metallic. So, then what I thought I would do is take a black marker, alcohol marker. Actually, do you know what? Instead of the alcohol marker, let's take the Arteza watercolours and see because this has got a black in it as well. So these are the pens they sent me also. Um, these will be linked. Oops, that sounds like a postman. Okay, sorry about that guys, postman game. Okay, so, what I thought was I could take the black and just a doodle, and this, these are actually going on perfect over the um, acrylics. Look at these pens. You must be sick of hearing me drill on about these pens, guys. But these pens are the best pens by far um, that I have used. I love them. So I'll put some wee circles there. Put some wee shapes. Just some random. shapes here and there for no particular reason just because I like doodling <laughs> and then we'll do some I mean this is these watercolour pens going over the acrylic paints and they're, the black is amazing you guys have probably used them before and been like I could have told you but they are, I love them. So, totally random shapes here. In the background. And we'll do another one, circle, like that. And then another circle. Coming off it like that. So, got that. Then, I'm going to take the stencil, and I'll keep it this way because it's too long the other way for you to see it, I think. Put it like that. Now, there isn't a black in the metallic paints, which is unfortunate, but there is this darkest colour that's here, and it's a space grey. So, I'm going to take my painting tile again. Put that here. This is just a wee tile that I always use for my paint palette that I got when we were decorating the kitchen. It was just a wee leftover. And I'm going to pop on some of my paint on there in a metallic grey. <clears throat> Let's cut another piece of this sponge. Because that seemed to work well. And I'm going to hold this down and go in. Dipping it in and just going over the stencil lightly. These paint this this one, this grey is really thick, it's really good. Really metallic as well. So we'll hold that down and you can tape it down if you wanted to but no me guys I'm just I can't be bothered with all the faff so some more paint just dab it in I'm a lazy crafter if I can get away with stuff I will 
go saying that I do give myself quite a hard time sometimes because I'm too bloody perfectionist but if there is shortcuts I can take I will take it so no I'm not taping it down so just keep going right over the whole stencil and just dab it on I'm dying to take this up and have a look but I'll wait until we've done the whole bit with some more paint I love these uh, these stencils. These are the large ones that I got from Baby Craft. I can link these down below as well. Um, great price. You get 18 of these for a steal. So I'll link these if you're interested, guys. If you want to go over and have a wee a look. Right, some more paint. You actually get tons in this tube. Well, this is the second time I've used this tube. Um, what does it say? Is it two? 22 mils. Yep. And these stencils are like the Mylar, so they're really good as well. I sound like I'm plugging stuff. I'm not. I just want to know you, let you guys know what I think is good quality and what's not. You know I would come on and if it wasn't good I would just tell you, nah, don't buy it. It's not worth wasting your money on. But these are really good quality. So, almost done. A tiny wee smidge more paint. I really hope this turns out now. If not, I will just gesso back over it and do something else. But I'm hoping that it does, because I like this pattern on this stencil. And it's, these metallic paints are really shiny, so I think it would look pretty cool. Hopefully, so just going over the last wee bit. Right, Ooh, I'm scared to look. Okay, let's do the peel. You ready? <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that, guys. That turned out so cool. I'm chuffed to bits with that. Isn't that really cool? Wow. That turned out... Oh, I really like that. Really like it. Right, I'm going to dry it a bit. Oh. Sorry, I thought I had knocked over my... It's alright, I have not. I thought I'd almost knocked over my whole um, cup of water there, but I haven't. Okay, so I like that. I wish I hadn't sort of did all these wee bits underneath here, but you live and learn. But anyway, I do like it. And then I'm going to go in with this sort of purple colour water brush pen. This is the Light Magenta. And I'm just going to highlight wee bits underneath the hummingbird's wing just to bring an extra wee bit of colour in. Not much, but look how well these pens, I mean even the magenta over the pink and stuff, it's still showing up. So just highlighting the wings a wee bit. That is really cool. And then I'm going to go in with... I want that turquoise blue colour. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see. It is... Teal. It's just called Teal. And I'm going to go into the bird's face. And again, add some of it to the wings. I 
Oh, that's cool, guys. I like this. It's really, do you know what I like about it? It's really soothing. It's um, really relaxing. So, there is my wee bird. Just added some more colour on there. That's cute. And then, I think we will take some... Mm, Deep purple, actually, because I think that'll stand out. What colour is this? Um, eggplant purple. And I'm going to add some on the flowers. Just to pull it out. Just a wee bit. I'm not going to totally cover the yellow underneath. But just a wee bit to add in a wee bit of hint of colour there. And this one, just a wee bit round... The edges again. I'm not covering up totally covering up the orange, just adding a wee bit of colour in like that, and a wee bit up here. And these flowers, that is so cool. Ah, I really like that. I'm impressed because I'm not a painter. <laughs> And I think that is really cool. I'm impressed with myself. Isn't that cool? Just with doing that. And I, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really metallic. I like that. Just be using the stencils and the pens. I think that has turned it really fab. So, the last thing to do, take my black pen and just initial it. S. M. C. And just put a wee, I always put a line and a wee cross like that. So yeah, I think that turned out really cool. I like that. I'm quite impressed with that, guys, for me. <laughs> okay, so talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think of my wee quick drawing, um, my wee quick painting. And um, yeah, like I said, I will link all the paints and the pens down in the description box. And leave a 10% off code. So thank you for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.